Hello everyone, it's me, Tentabat, your favorite NSFW artist, hopefully, maybe perhaps. Today I have a little pinup for you of my persona. Yes, me, Tentabat. Uh, anthro pink bat with the slimy tail. Yell yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, as you can see to the left, that I have my reference picture up. Well, actually, two reference pictures up. Uh, one of my persona and the other one to help me with the pose. Funny thing is, is that I previously shared the pose picture, the Good Morning Calvin Klein photo with my friend Rocco, uh, and then later I showed him my illustration, but he, he didn't recognize what it was referencing, so I had to show him the picture again to jog his memory. Well, I'm sorry that I don't have the abs for this pose. Nah, I'm joking around. It's, it's totally fine. I do like my plush tum anyways. I just thought it was really good, really appealing pose, you know? That's, that's why I'm referencing it in the first place. Sorry for being rambly, uh, <laughs> it's just a funny thing that happened. But yeah, um, I was able to easily make my sketch, and here I am with the lighting. Also, you will see in the left corner, I have the Cartoon Network palette that was going on Twitter a month ago. Uh, yeah, I made this pinup just so I can like play with that sort of palette. And you will see when I get to the colors. Actually, the first thing you will see me do is actually uh, use my, my usual palette, my usual persona palette with the pink colors. And then I do my usual shading. And yeah, I just made this illustration like how I would usually do, but then I saved another version so I could play around with the colors a bit more. Honestly, using this palette was kind of difficult for me at first because, um, you know, it's a very simplistic palette, um, very to the point, you could say, very saturated, and so I had to figure out <laughs> if I wanted, you know, to have shading while using the palette or if I should not. I was deciding on that. I, uh, you'll see that I'll I'll do like one with shading and one without. But yeah, it's it's pretty difficult to uh, have so many gradients along with this palette. It, it just doesn't like mesh together that well. That's why uh, you usually see this uh, palette made with a lineless art style so it's more like clear cut and precise instead of what I'm trying to do here which is just like a shaded pinup. But honestly a fun experiment regardless. Um, yeah, um, if, I, if I were to do this challenge again I would keep in mind that lineless style and try to work off uh, of that in the beginning so I can have an easier time um, coordinating my colors a bit. So yeah, after I do my usual coloring and shading, I decided to um, use a gradient map, which is a feature in Clip Studio, where you kind of you kind of just like plug in a palette and it'll generate the palette within the drawing. It does this by replacing the value of the color with the color you've chosen. Yeah, sorry, the speed paint is from Clip Studio's um, speed paint fe feature, so it won't show the grading and map window I was working on. But anyways, here's how I would explain it. Like say if you had some black line work, but you wanted to change it to a dark blue, you could do that. You could definitely do that. And then you change your whites to a pale yellow. You could definitely do that too. Um, but once you get some gradients going on to that, line work or whatever you're working on, uh, it will like have an in-between color gradient going between that dark blue and uh, yellowish white. Uh, this is easily achieved if your colors are going by uh, value, like to the darkest color to the lightest color. 
but if you start to have like colors that like have different values and by values I mean like uh, different levels of darkness and lightness if, if they're like all over the place and not in like a nice gradient they would uh, kind of like mesh weirdly with with your uh, artwork uh, I'll, I'll most likely do a grading in map tutorial sooner or later because I, I find it really interesting and really cool to play with though I do like um, just coloring it my myself by hand picking my colors but I know it's a very useful tool that other artists use I can't say I use it a lot but it is very fun to play with and what sort of effects you can bring bring in with it but yeah I just finished my illustration as usual and I don't need to do anything to my illustration layers or anything like that I just go to layer new correction layer and gradient map and it'll make me a layer that goes on top of everything and then I could just like play with my colors as I wish and it's very cool that it's, it's just as simple as putting a layer on top to play with it but yeah this speed paint uh, footage is from clip studios uh, speed paint feature so my final colorations are going by very quick but here are the final illustrations that I came up with this palette. The first one is just me uh, drawing it without a contained palette. Just whatever colors I want and whatever shading I want. The second one is where I used a gradient map for this illustration. And for this gradient map, I did use the Cartoon Network palette. It's just... I, I might have added a darker purple uh, instead of a black to to help um, with the mid tones, so that you could see, see the mid tones. Otherwise, you wouldn't you wouldn't see that color. It would just like not cooperate. Honestly, using gradients is probably cheating when it comes to like palette challenges, but I don't care. I I like messing around with it. Everyone loves gradients anyways. Just look at the sunset sky. Uh, and anyways, in enough of that tangent. The final illustration is where I actually tried using the Cartoon Network palette. And just like a, a few shades off, uh, as you can see, I have a darker and lighter shades of pink in there. Just so you can see like markings and other things and yeah the underwear had to be yellow yellow because um i thought the blue would have been too much and the yellow on my hair that that doesn't seem right it, that, that would make me blonde <laughs> no um yeah i guess i i could have made better choices but this is what i made i do really like the the background though it really stands out i'd say but yeah, I'm really happy with this uh, little challenge, even though I did things differently here and there. Uh, but yeah, it's just a pinup with a palette challenge, and I hope you enjoyed. Or what you would have changed. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. What you would have changed. For <laughs> it's just, just tell me everything about yourself in the comments. <laughs> tell me about you. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that's my speed paint, and yeah, I hope you liked it. Alright, I'd like to give thanks to my patrons who are on screen right now. Thank you. A big thank you to Mainful, Seven Dead Junior, Bolt Chaser, Crowns Knight, Nova Bomb Z, Grimitis, Lieutenant Skittles, Zerum, and Klepto Kitten. Thank you so much, my highest tier patrons. And thank you for watching. Much appreciated. See you next time. Bye.